good morning Saturday February 20th it is a beautiful warm sunny day a little windy but uh melting some of that snow away eh? which is cool first order of business I got this turbo 400 any of you that have been following for more than six months remembers this one this is one that we were gonna put in the 33 Chevy and didn't mostly because it's pretty rusty but a buddy of a friend who knows a guy from down the street uh, needs a core, so good enough for that. So the first order of business is to slam this together and uh, make a couple bucks. And there you have it. It's all together. Missing a couple parts, but it's all there. Good enough for a core. Alright, on the better and big, bigger and better things. Like that car over there. I don't have a lot of time today. I got a lot of stuff to do, but try to get what I can do. Ah, bleh, too early in the morning. Try to get what I can done done today. Alrighty. So the guy came for the transmission. He was happy. Uh, like I said, he just needed it for a core. They were gonna charge him 200 bucks for a core. So, but he's spending. I want to say like six grand or five grand to have a transmission built and uh, sounds like it's pretty gnarly pretty cool uh, ETS automatic transmission design here in Wisconsin they build uh, custom race transmissions and I guess he's they're the ones doing this transmission full billet you know this and that he's going in a 74 I think he said dart dart or duster I forget now something Chrysler Sounded pretty cool. So, that's gone. Alright, so, getting this inner fender bolted on. Passenger side. I cut some uh, inner tube. Oh, here we go. And that's my welting in between the body and the inner fender. There was this stuff in there originally, which kind of looks like tar paper or something. It was pretty crusty. And I forgot to order some this past week, but I know inner tube, that's, I've used that before, and that works pretty good. You can buy that cheap, you know, like 26 inch bicycle inner tubes, like, you know, $3 or something like that, so. Works for me, just takes a little time cutting it apart, but it works, so. Gotta stay at it, I wanna get this fender on, that's my goal for today. Seems like it's the in thing to do. So if you want to go play on Instagram, I'm on there. <laughs> Alright, so where are we at in a 54 Chevy? It's starting to look like a 54 Chevy. I got this car, it was not together, so you know, this is all new to me putting it together. I didn't take it apart. I've never done a 50s Chevy before. They're a little bit different, actually pretty basic, but uh, it's going together actually relatively fast. It's coming along. It's fitting really good. I'm really happy with the fit. I got to do a little shimming yet on the driver's side. I got a door gap issue. I just got to tweak things a little bit, but other than that, it's going together really good. And I wasn't going to put all the fenders on until I had everything done for the engine. But, you know me, I can't wait. So, I stuck them on anyways. Looks cool. Still got to lower the back yet. I got to get some 2 inch lowering blocks. A buddy of mine up the road says he has them. Hopefully he didn't throw them away yet because I didn't come get them yesterday. He does that sometimes. Uh, and yeah, that's that's the update. It really nothing too exciting. <laughs> so today, plan of attack: finish up the alternator wiring. Uh, probably make my adjuster. I got change out the pulley. I do have a painted one over there that I did. The steering, I was playing with that a little bit, but until I get my seat in there, I don't really want to make that a done deal. 
Uh, what else? I can probably figure out the radiator, get that in, start hooking that up. Tons of little things to do yet, but it's getting closer and closer every day. If I do have a visitor coming today, at least I was told I have a visitor coming today. So I did clean up the shop a little bit. Uh, maybe get that rear bumper on so I'm not tripping over that every other day. But it was a beautiful Saturday. I don't know what the temp actually got to, but it was warm. Slightly breezy. It was nice. I was really tempted take the 40 Chevy out, but I didn't. The roads are still pretty schmucked up. A lot of salt, a lot of melting snow. I'll just wait. It's too early yet. Got another three, four weeks before the weather starts turning, hopefully. And then in that time, that car has to be driving. Can't sit there no more. And I get other projects. I get people calling me. They're actually finding me. So, I got to get that stuff in here, get it knocked out, get it done. So, this thing's first, got to get it out of the way. So, unless something happens today, which I really highly doubt, but you never know. Probably talk to you guys later.